Hey guys, how you doing? Now, look, uh, Philly in the Philippines, he actually made a, a video to in response to the video I made. And so I just want to play the vid and then I want to sort of react to the vid afterwards. So here we go. The weirdest one. Guys, this is one for the books. The weirdest, strangest subscriber I ran into. Uh, this was back in like February couple years ago or like right before things got shut down here remember i was walking down walking street during the day got down around grand central suite so anyways i'm walking down there and i hear this hey philly in the philippines and it was like it wasn't a very masculine voice and it, it wasn't like a female's voice it's like kind of feminine like you know like uh like a bok lock you know you know what i mean I'm walking in, I'm like, I know I heard, I know I heard my name. I think I might have passed by the building a little bit. And then I stop, I'm like, all right, let me go back and, you know, say hello. So I step back and there was these two gentlemen sitting there. And uh, the one gets up, comes over, he says, hey, Philly in the Philippines, you know, you're my favorite vlogger. I enjoy watching your channel. I learned a lot. And I'm, I'm, I'm just studying this, this guy's body as far as like how he's presenting himself and how he's conducting himself. And it was like he was, and I don't think he had a, you know, a, some type of medical issue. Uh, it was like he was like quivering. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like quivering, like a schoolgirl getting to see Justin Bieber. But yeah, this guy kind of gave me that vibe. Like, you know, he's like so excited to meet his favorite vlogger, you know? And I'm like, you know, I'm like, okay, you know, and we're talking and stuff. And like his lip is quivering. like, And, and you could kind of hear like the, the crackling in his voice. Um, and like I said, I don't think he was handicapped at all. I just think he was overwhelmed with the fact that he ran into me, Philly, in the Philippines. So we're standing there and he's talking and stuff. And I'm just getting like this kind of weird vibe out. And then all of a sudden, like, I look down. Whoa, this guy tinkled his panties. I'm like, whoa, this is getting weird. I mean, he was that excited, I guess, that he tinkled in his panties. You know, you could, you could see it. He was wearing like a, a khaki type pair of pants. You could see the wet spot. I didn't realize I had that much impact on this guy, you know? This is kind of strange for me. You know, he, he, he invited me. He goes, hey, you know, you like to join me and my friend to, you know, sip on some coffee? Well, I don't sip coffee. Um, I drink coffee like a man, you know? So I'm like, you know, thank you for the offer, but, you know, I think I have, you know, I got, I got things I got to do, but thank you for the offer. Like, just like that, like, his eyes kind of, just kind of like swelled up. Like, I thought he was going to cry because I didn't take him up on his offer to, you know, sip some coffee. But yeah, boy, that was... I'll never forget that. That was very strange. But yeah, I'll never forget it. Like I said, it was like right around February, right before everything got shut down. I'm just a regular guy in the Philippines. But yeah, that, that dude freaked me out, especially when he tinkled in his panties. Ooh. I'm just a regular guy in the Philippines. Okay, guys, look, I just want to say that, look, I realize in hindsight, look, I, I kind of put Philly in a bad situation there uh, because I made uh, Philly, Brian, I made him look like he didn't appreciate his supporters, his subscribers. But that was, it was not my intention. And look, I do, I do totally 100%, 100, 200%, I, I do apologize. And I admit, look, I was wrong. I was wrong. I, I made him look bad, but that was not my intention at all. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a comedian. I do enjoy comedy. I do enjoy drama. Look, the, the truth is I thought Philly, he would sort of uh, react in a way like with Clint Eastwood music kind of thing. Like I do accept your challenge. But of course, you know, I'm a small time vlogger. He's a big time vlogger. Of course, he gets nothing from it. So of course, he's probably not going to react that way. So again, I meant that in like a dramatic comedy kind of way. Same with uh, Jay Hidoshi, yeah. Uh, but um, anyway, uh, Jay and Philly, I do apologize. I didn't mean it in that way. I'm a hell of a nice guy. Um, look, I, did, did I piss my pants? Did I piss my panties as Philly says? I may or I may have not. I was starstruck. I was starstruck and I may have pissed my pants and not realized it. But I just wanted them to know, this is sort of a vid to them, that I do like their vids. I do like their vids. And so uh, I didn't mean it in a bad way. If I put you in a bad way, that's that's on me. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I did not mean it in a bad way, guys. So please 
uh, accept my apology and I will not like do that stuff again, okay? So please, you gotta trust me here, guys. I really apologize. I don't like to make sort of enemies with anyone and I feel like, yeah, his response was correct. His response was, because when I look back on my vid, I realized that it was like, it was in bad taste. And so that was on me, that was my bad. I, when I made the vid, I didn't see it that way. But when I when I look at the vid again, I realized it, yeah, Philly is right. He's 100% right. I thought if I, like when I said I got the strength of two men, but I, I put like a 95 year old guy in a midget, okay? And it's like a tag team match. I thought it was humorous, but you know, I do realize that's not the point. The point is I made him look like he doesn't appreciate subscribers. But let me tell you the truth. When I did meet Philly, he was a super, super respectful guy. By the time I said hello to him, you could see in the, the Photoshop I made there, he was like already passed. But when I, I saw him, it was just as he was passing. And I said, Philly in the Philippines. And he did, you know, respect to him. He did come back. He didn't have to. I wouldn't have thought anything of it if he didn't come back, but he did come back. And so we had a short conversation there. It was probably less than 30 seconds. And so basically uh, at that time, his wife, his lovely wife had a uh, mart, some mart. He said he's going to his wife's place. And so his wife's mart. So, oh, what was the name again? I forgot, JJB. And I said, okay, I promise I will go by there. And I did not go by there. And the, uh, I apologize for that, but I mean, he's probably totally forgotten about that, so it doesn't matter. But I just wanted to apologize. Yeah, I realized maybe it was in bad taste, but that was not my intention, guys, and I'm really, really sorry, and I hope that you do forgive me, and that's on me. The bad, the bad is on me. You guys are fantastic. He was a great guy. I just tried to put some drama in there, guys, but it didn't go the way that I wanted to, and that's 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 what's gonna happen sometimes, but you gotta take risks in life, right? This risk did not go as, I, as planned, but that's okay, guys. Thank you, thank you, guys. Um, and I hope to, I hope you forgive me. I do hope you forgive me guys, cause I'm a hell, I'm a hell of a friendly guy. I hope uh, that, I hope to see you again. I hope to meet you again. Please don't like avoid me if you see me on walking street there, cause uh, I would love to shake your hand and everything's cool, everything's cool with me. I hope it's cool with you. But if it's not cool with you, I totally understand. It's my bad. Okay guys, the next vid is coming out about Philly's bar. I've been busy with work, but I'm trying to work this in. Take care and I will see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.